Hey folks, it's Reef Guy here. How you doing? Welcome back to Boulder Canyon here in Farming Simulator 19. We're just going to continue on and finish our field of planting right here. This is not going to take very long at all. We've just got this one narrow strip in the middle and we're done. And we don't actually have to do any fertilizer spreading either. Now, we have done, we've applied our rule that we're allowed to use, which is we are allowed to do one... Uh, we're allowed to go to one time speed whilst planting, uh, so that we don't get staggered growth rates. Because I think staggered growth rates would actually be far less realistic than manipulating time the way that we do. Because uh, you're not going to start planting a field and then have like a month later finish it. Because that, that's what the growth rates are. You're separating your plants um, by months at a time. So you go into a field. It doesn't look like one end of the field was started planting a month before the other end. Um, it, it, it just doesn't happen. Now, the whole thing is, is like it, it's all done together. So in order to be able to make sure that we have that, we are saying that we're allowed to go to one single times speed in order to get it to come up through. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to need to wait for our um, stuff to grow, aren't we? And at the moment, we've got, if we look in here, we've got... Um, well, it says that we've got a great demand on the universal sell point, but I don't know what crop it's supposed to be. It just said un uh, great demand. We've got our sheep in here. We've got 192 hours reproduction rate. We've got 191.3 hours still to go. It looks like we have indeed lost a half a bale on there, but I, I mean, I'd like to get more sheep. As soon as we're able to, we will get more sheep on here. That's going to be a priority for us now. Um... The other priority for us, actually, possibly even before we go for more sheep, although may, well, we'll see. We'll see how we get on. We want to chop down a load of trees, so we'll be doing that in the morning. We'll start chopping down trees, and we'll take a load of them up. We'll sell them at the sawmill, and we're ho I'm hoping that we'll have enough money to be able to buy a... Um, a house for some employees to stay in so that we can start using hired help. And we'll also have a um, enough money to be able to get a few more sheep. A few more sheep, I think, is going to be a really good thing. I, I can't see that that's going to be a bad thing at all. Possibly, what we'll also consider getting is a loading wagon, although I don't know that we need to worry about that too much at the moment, because we can just do our system that we've got with putting in the whole bales. Um, that seems to work. Plus, actually... You know, I, I do think maybe a loading wagon would be a worthy investment over time because it means that we're not sort of going to be, you know, we're, we're wasting a little bit of grass by doing it this way. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll make our mind up on that one. That's, that's something that maybe we'll come back to and, and think about later on. It's not something that we're going to have to worry about right now, though, is it? So if we just finish up this bit here. Another little time. A few more strips. So close. We are literally so close to finishing this now. Very excited about this because it means that we've actually done our very first bit of planting. We have ploughed, we have created our first field, and we have now actually finished successfully planting it. I mean, yes, we have ploughed it all up and then immediately gone and put back the exact same crop that was there previously. But that's besides the point. That doesn't matter. That's, that's, that's not actually a detail that particularly matters at all. Uh, what matters is that we're able to do all of this, right? We, we, we've got it done. We, we've had you know, all sorts of extra bits that we've been doing. Um, what we've also got, we've got a few other bits that we want to do. We'll, once we uh, are able to get arable stuff, we're going to want to be able to plough this field properly. And we're also going to want to be able to put lime on this field. Both of which, have, well, the ploughing, not quite so expensive. The lime is definitely going to be expensive, not for the lime itself, but for the lime spreader. Now, there are a few mods that we can get that will allow us to put lime in other spreaders, but then you are back and forth an awful lot um, to be able to go and refill it if you're using a small spreader, because the lime spreaders, they take a very substantial amount of lime to be able to properly lime the field all the way over. So we've just got one full pass all the way across, and then we've got a little bit just to finish off this triangle. Um, what else are we going to do? I mean, yeah, obviously we, we want to be working towards getting that scorpion 
as rapidly as possible. That is our next main target. But we also want to be helping the sheep along. And we're not just going to be using a chainsaw sawing down trees until we got a scorpion. We're going to be working the rest of the farm as well. We've got grass growing here. We're going to need to be able to get it, uh, get rid of some of the tree stumps up there. And we'll see about creating yet another field. But, I mean, maybe we'll leave that a little bit and we'll get a, a bigger cultivator to do that with. I like the idea of being able to do it with the cultivator. What I really like is... The idea that I mostly want is to do the job with a cultivator to create the field, but then get some hired help with just a standard plough. We can put the hired help going on any field, um, and they can carry on and do the ploughing. That's a really slow, time-consuming job, so we can just leave them to it, and they'll work their way through that, and it'll take them however long it takes them, and eventually they'll get the job done. And I go to there, and this job is now done. Right. We have planted all our... Let's just to make sure. Let's just make absolutely certain before we change time or anything like that. So I want to... I do want to take grass like that. And then I want to go to growth. Right, now we've got a little bit up there where we did some mowing. And that's the freshly harvested bit. But all of that there, that is now planted. Absolutely perfect. It does need ploughing. It does need lime, but that's not going to affect the grass. It does say that we could do some fertilizer just in a little strip around here, but we can actually, for the most part, ignore that. Um, it's such a small amount. I don't think it's worth wasting the fertilizer to spread over that, not for this first cut. So I'm, I'm personally, I'm quite happy to just leave that as it is. Uh, we'll bring this one over here, and we're going to park this one back in front of that tree there. Bring that back round there like that. And I'll bring that one back to there like that, I think. Right, we'll lower you down. Job done. There, perfect. So we can put that back up to five times speed. I'm just going to switch this tractor off a minute. And we'll go and see. I don't know what timber we've got. If we do have any timber up there, we might be able to sell a little bit tonight. But I'm not really sure about it. The reason I'd want to sell a little bit tonight is so that we can get some more sheep in the pen tonight before we do anything else now two things that i want i want hired help so we've got to be able to get them some housing but we also need something more than just a tent we've been living in a tent for a while now we need something better than that uh that's five hundred dollars for that it's a hundred and eighty thousand for a full-blown house there is an in-between option that we might be able to get at some point and it's, it's like a caravan type thing um so that's a definite possibility. Now, for the actual housing for people, the farm trailer there, 25,000. I suggested getting this one, and um, some people said, yeah, you know, because I originally said for each hired help that we get, we'd have to get one of these. And several people said, well, actually, you'd have more than one person staying in something like that. If, if someone's come to work for you, you would have more than one person staying in and lodgings like this, right? You'd have three bedrooms and then there'd be a living space. That would be sufficient for three people. A number of different people have said that that would be sufficient for three. So $25,000 will allow us up to three hired help. I like this idea. I really do. I think this is fantastic. I'm quite happy to go along with this. Now, when I was working up over here, I did say that we would skip straight through to the night because we slowed time down a bit but I'm thinking maybe we should go and get these logs first we've got a few here how many have we got there's not a great deal here is there there are there, there's just a few there's just enough to make a little bit of cash it might be five or six thousand which could get us another five sheep if we can get another five sheep into the pen, that's that's really good. That'll um, ju it's, it's just that little bit extra just to help the sheep along a bit. Um, I think that would be absolutely fine. And then we can start doing the whole fast forwarding time after that. So let's just 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 jump into you. And I know I've got to have it on thirty. I've got to have it on thirty times speed to load this timber up anyway. Uh, which means that I might very well not end up being able to get the load sold. So bring you back onto there. And then we start heading up round here. He's on round the corner a bit. And 
Right, it should be loading on the left-hand side. Just steer around there a bit. Yeah, uh, auto load wood on and off. It uh, Left-hand side or right-hand side? You know, I honestly don't remember. I absolutely don't remember now. But I will get to here. We will now go there 30 times speed. And we'll leave this on 30 times speed until we're loaded. So I'll bring that up to there. And B, auto load wood. I think I need to change side first, though. Yes, you do. Right, so B to turn that one off. And then you press O to change side. And then B to get it loading. There we go. Right, it is now loading. Might not be loading very well. Oh, yeah, it is. It is doing it. It's not loading all of them, or it hasn't yet, but hopefully it will in a minute. So we can go up through there. I've got one hour to finish loading, and then get this load up there to the mill and get it sold. So I'll do that and that, and then I've got one more bit right there. And in order to be able to do this properly, I'm going to stop there, and I'm going to have to unload this. There we go. And then I'm going to have to reload it back on again. I got one bit there. Ah. Why are you sticking out the back so much? Not quite sure about that. Right, that is loaded. There. Do that. And we're away. So we're going to sell this little bit here. And that, I'm hoping, will get us a few more sheep. It, you know, if, if we reach... If that's 5,000 there... That should be enough. Well, no, 5,000. Uh, 5,000's not enough for five more sheep, is it? They're 1,500 apiece. Those sheep aren't cheap. Sheep are rather expensive beasties. I forgot about that. Right. Well, we go on round here. We will get this up to the sawmill and we will get however much we get for it. Five, I, st I, yeah, I, I think that we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna quite make five grand on this, which is a bit of a shame. It would be nice to be able to actually make five grand on it, but um, well, at least we get a couple of sheep out of it. There, we'll stop there, and we'll unload, and then we come over here, and ooh, six thousand seven hundred. That leaves me six thousand eight hundred with the delivery cost of the sheep. Uh, we might be able to, uh, I don't know, I can't remember what the delivery cost was, but we might be able to get ourselves four sheep for that. 1,500 per sheep. We may be able to get as many as four sheep. So that's going to take our total up to nine at the moment. It's not vast numbers. It's definitely not vast uh, huge, incredible numbers, but it's still not too bad. And then if we just take a quick look at the actual prices... Wool at the moment, that's about a thousand a litre. It's, it's just under a thousand per thousand. It's a dollar a litre, essentially. We get 10,000 litres of wool and we're looking at 10 grand. That's not bad because once you've got the sheep in there, all you've got to do is put a bit of grass in for them. And that really isn't like a great deal, is it? You're just putting a bit of grass in for the sheep. The, the, there's not really a lot there that you, you're doing in order to be able to get your sheep and then have them in your pen and, and and do stuff with them. You're not spending a vast sum of money on them. We don't have to spend money on water for them or anything like that. You know, the water is free. We extract it out of the ground. Let's bring that tractor over to there and stop. Like that. We won't put any extra stuff in for the sheep tonight. Uh, but what we will do is... Let's go over to there. And it's... Wait, what have I got? We got we got brown sheep. Definitely got brown sheep. I just wanted to make sure. Right. That I can sell them for a thousand apiece. And I can buy them for fifteen hundred apiece. So they're not cheap. And four hundred. It's one hundred dollars per sheep to move them as well. So we confirm that right there. So we've now got six thousand dollars in new livestock, a uh, worth of new livestock. Right there. We've still got no wool from them yet. I hope that 
uh, the position of that pallet is not going to interfere with that. So, yes, we could do with a bit more grass and hay. Uh, we could do with a little bit more water. The water will be fine. Says wool, one litre. A single solitary litre of water in one of those pallets. Right, we have done what we need to do. I will, hopefully, for our next episode, remember to change this over so that we've got a little bit more space on here. Uh, no, well, uh, so that there's another house that we can get because just living in a tent the whole time, definitely, we need to do something different, I think. I think we definitely want to be doing something different. Right, so I want to go to there, and we want 11 hours of sleep. I'll do that, and I will go 11, sleep, all the way through the night. Now, we obviously, we have our loan interest, and uh, we've now got property maintenance. Um, the vehicle leasing costs, we can ignore that, because we're not actually leasing. It's the forklift, which we don't lease. That's uh, just costs for other things. We've got wool. 118 litres of wool now, and reproduction rate 109 hours. We get another sheep in 96 hours' time. Uh, we'll be getting more sheep sooner than that, though. The more sheep, they will turn up sooner than that. We can ignore all of this. Our grass over here has not grown. Fertilised 72%. Fertilised 100%. Needs ploughing, needs lime. We can ignore that, and if the weeds come through, we get to ignore those as well. They don't affect it. The only thing that will affect this is fertilizer. And we've already got all the fertilizer on that field that we want to get. So then we're looking at this boulder right here. And this field here, we're going to leave a strip in the field. It's going to be sort of about that wide, I would say. Right, we're not going right up against the fields. We're going to leave a, a gap. And we're also going to leave a strip here, sort of like that, about a tractor's width. So we can go straight up here like this. There. And we go to the base of the hill, sort of there. And then that's the base of the hill there, isn't it? That's, that's kind of running through there. It's running all the way along here. That's the base of the hill still. And then the base of that hill, it sort of curves a little bit. We come through and we get to there. So that's the edge of where we want to um, cut these trees. Because this is gonna, this is where our next field is going to be. So I want to start cutting over here. We will cut these down over this side. And I'll take that one out. And then I might actually go and cut some of the other bits on, you know, like a couple of the trees on the edge of our field, but that's, that's not an important aspect of it. The important bit is first marking out where exactly this field is going to be all the way through. So like that tree there, that definitely needs to go. And then those shrubs there, we'll move those when we uh, will remove those when we make our new field. And I get that bit down there like that. Over you go. Oops. Right. Steady does it. There we go. And take that one down. And I'm going to go back through now and we're going to sort of mark out the edge mostly of where our timber is going to be. So I'm going to take you and chop you down there like that. So that one's cut in half. Now these, these trees here, we know that those are all going to be removed. And so we're kind of looking through here, aren't we? We're, we're running along here, along the base of this hill. And... How much of the hill, how high up this hill do we want to be? Like those two there, I don't think they're going to be part of the field. I'm not really sure, actually. We'll take those two out and we'll have a look a bit later on. It's not going to hurt to take a few extra out. I don't want to take out loads more just because there's no actual need for it and they're, they're just going to be in the way. But, um, well, it, it, it's just going to make it take longer, right? If, if we take out loads extra, it's just going to end up making it take longer when it doesn't really need to. So um, that's one sort of aspect of it that I, I'm not so concerned about. It's, it's just the time factor of it. It's how long it's going to take to be able to remove everything out of the way. So if I don't go too mad with cutting down the trees, we should be able to clear all the rest of the trees that we want to be able to form this field. And then we're looking at upgrading our tractor 
I mean, the timber that we get from this job, we should be able to get, the, like, the first priority that I'd like to get is hired help. So that I can use hired help to be doing some of the jobs down in the fields uh, whilst we're still working on some of the timber. And I think that would be a very cool thing. It's, it's I, I believe that's a, a fairly realistic sort of approach to doing stuff anyway. Right, we're looking at... Yeah, that, that, this is kind of the border zone right here, is this clump of trees right here. So let's take these out a minute. Uh, chop you there, and then there's one just beside us that we want to take out as well. There, it'll be that one over there. Let's uh, tidy this one up first. There. Whiz down through there, like that. Keep whizzing down through that. Wow, actually, this is quite a long tree. Some of these, we get a very large amount of... I think... Wait. Wait. I barely touched the... I hate it when that happens. We barely touched the top, but it chopped the entire top of the tip of the tree off. And then it made the whole tree disappear. And that tree was worth a lot of money. That would have been probably $1,500, that tree. And then it just vanished because we accidentally chopped the just the very, very tip of that tree. Nipped the tip and the entire thing has just vanished. Not very happy about that, it's got to be said. I, I, I feel that that didn't really go in our favour. Uh, I'll bring that up through there. Right, stand up now and then we'll go back over here. So uh, it's about there. Hopefully it's... Nope, that hasn't vanished this time. I feel better about it now. Now that we've got non-vanishing trees, I've already started to feel better. Because look at this, like the thickness of this timber here. The thickness of these trunks. That is very, very impressive. That is incredibly thick pieces of timber. And... Right, now this, this, is, this is the bit here. Is Where are we having the edge of our field right here? We've got quite a lot through here. Now, I've, I've gone through there... And I've cut a piece there. There's there's a like there's a bigger clump of trees there. That bit goes up. And this comes in through here. We kind of want to go that way, don't we? We've gone a little bit high there. I'm gonna take out that little group of trees there. And we got this little group of trees over here to take out anyway. Let's let's take out these four. If I remove those four first, then we can deal with the other bits in a minute. There, so I'll take that one down there, and then we've got three more behind me, so I'll just quickly tidy this one up. There's a couple down there that are smaller trees. They shouldn't take too long to cut down through either. And quickly whip that one through like that. There we go. Right. That's nice and clean, and then I can go back. I want to go back to about there, I think. Take that off, and then... Right. Yeah, that one will be into three. We'll just do that one into three. I'll take that one off there. And I've got those three. You, before I do those three, I'm going to take these three down here. These are quite small ones. And if I take these three down... Maybe they're, they're quite quick. Quick, easy job to cut down those three are. And then I'll take that one over there. Chop you through. And I'll do the same with that one. Much the same direction. Like that. And that bit's done. And then I can come over here. So, uh, in order to be able to upgrade this field. In order to be able to start cultivating and, and plowing all of this field up here. And, and getting this one started. We're going to need to be able to... Uh, first route, we, we want to go through and do all the stumps. I'm thinking if we can afford it, we want to be upgrading our engine on the tractor. If we get a, a bigger engine on the tractor, it is going to make our life a bit easier, I think. So that ought to be another one of the early things that we go for, is an upgraded engine, because we'll just be, some of the jobs will be able to do faster, like taking out the all the stumps with the bio belts thing. A bigger engine on the tractor... We'll certainly make that job a little bit easier because we know that the tractor does struggle with the bio belt machine just a little bit so if we've got a bit more power on it it's, it's just going to make it go a little bit quicker when we're using it right there's those three done that was the first bit that i wanted to do and then i've got these three trees right here is the next bit that i wanted to do 
Let's take you down there like that. And then we'll carry on sort of working along the line behind us and marking just what's going to be the boundary of this field. And we should very easily after that, once we've marked that out, it should be fairly simple to take down the rest of the trees that are going to be in what is going to be the new field. All the way down here. Yeah. Oop. Right, that's all cleaned up. Yeah. There is, there is a, like, a, there's a couple of bits where we've got clumps of trees, but for the most part, this is going to be a fairly easy job. That's definitely going to be want to be uh, going to be one that wants to be done into four. Up to there, like that. Take you down. Did I remember to cut this one? Yes, I did. For, for I thought for one moment I'd forgotten to cut that one. But then I can take that one there. Chop you down. And we've got one more to do after that, and then we head down that direction. Start taking them out. It's been a very long time since I actually did any uh, felling of trees. With I've cut up several bits of timber with a chainsaw um, in, in the last couple of years. But, wow, okay, I've, I've never done that with a chainsaw. I've seen other people do that. We had, um, there was a tree that needed to be felled um, a little while ago, and a tree surgeon came, was it... it friend of the family tree surgeon he came and did it and it's quite impressive watching a tree surgeon um working because it was on a boundary fence and we didn't want the boundary to be knocked down we didn't want it to be damaged going in different directions uh that sort of thing um he had to do it very very carefully and also there, there were fences all around it, so we, we kind of had to, it had to be felled a very particular direction, and it had to be felled very carefully, so he was up the tree, it took several hours going round the tree, removing all of the other bits first, see I chopped the top off there, and I didn't lose a load of the tree, um, or lose the entire tree, uh, he spent quite a while sort of going over the tree first and chopping up um like taking down loads of different branches and then after he'd gone through and he'd taken off a massive amount of branches he then went back through and did a load more work later on um like just getting it ready to be felled and then he very slowly and carefully cut through where all the bits needed to be cut through so that the tree would all fall in the right direction and everything came down it went it, it's absolutely perfect it was spot on but it's it's very it's it's precise precision work. I mean, I know precision work is supposed to be precise, but this was um, you, you got precision work, and then you got precise precision work, and two different things. And this was precise precision work. This was you know that there was not a there was not a foot put wrong. Well, okay, there was one foot put uh, one foot put wrong. There was one point where he slipped, and he was kind of half dangling from the tree, and the chainsaw was dangling from underneath him. Um, but this is why you have the, the safety ropes when you're up in the tree. Um, and you, you have the chainsaw on a rope as well, and it's on a, a lock so that as soon as the chainsaw is let go, it instantly stops. And um, various other little safety things that stop you from chopping off your own leg. Um, all of which good, right? All, all of which are good features. You, you don't want to be chopping off your own leg. Generally, it's thought of to be a bit a bit of a jolly nuisance to, to have your own leg removed. And he didn't have to endure this jolly nuisance of his own leg being removed. And so all was well with the world. Now, I'm, I'm still sort of looking along this edge to decide quite where we want to put the new edge of the field. And I, it, like I said, it doesn't matter if we cut up some of the trees. But I don't want to remove too many of the um, branches uh, too many additional trees if we can help it because it's gonna it just takes up time doesn't it it takes up valuable time that can be spent doing other things let's chop you in half there um so like here where exactly do i want to come through like i've cut one tree there and i've cut another tree there Possibly those on that side. We're gonna. We definitely want to. That one there has got to be removed. That one right there. That one's definitely got to go. There's no question whatsoever that that tree right there is in our way. Over it goes, and down it falls. Sort of. It's gonna stop part way. Okay, fine. 
That's fine. I don't mind if it stops part way. We'll, we'll go all the way up here and... There. There. All the way up. Right. Uh, I don't know which bit of the tree is... I think I've, I think I've cleaned it all off properly. I think I have. I'm not quite... See, I'm not sure what that was leaning on. It's not leaning on these, these two. It's, it's actually leaning on that tree right there. So let's chop that tree down. And let's see if that helps. I chop you through there. That one's, that's another big long tree, that one is. So I'll chop that one down there. And here it is. There's our other bit. Right, that, it does look like we've actually cleaned that one up properly. So I can chop you through there. Like that. And yeah, this one's only a three. So chop you through there. And then this one down here, I'll just chop this one up. Like that. I've really started to get used to this chainsaw now. Right, it did take me a bit to get used to it. But now that I'm getting used to it, um, I am, I'm thinking I actually prefer it. But it did, it, you know, it, it took me a while. It definitely took me a while. So I'm not sure, if I was given the choice on it, I'm not sure I would have chosen this chainsaw. Uh, this, like, particular design. I think I would have just chosen to stick with the original Farming Simulator design chainsaw. Um, that was, like, further back. And... Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not sure if it's, like, a, a really better thing having it further back or not. So, we've got that line up through there. That tree there. I don't think it's going to hurt to have that one come down, to be honest. Um, I don't think it's going to hurt to remove that one. We'll chop you through. Because I kind of want to keep the edges of the field straight, if possible. We've got another one there that has fallen down. Not quite all the way to, well, no, it did fall all the way to the ground. It, it hit the other tree, and then it slid sideways ever so slightly. So I think it is now on the ground. But it might make life difficult for us when we're trimming off the branches right on this top. Oh, no. No, no. It's actually done all right now. It moved a bit, so it was all right. Uh, we take you down there, and then I take you down there, and I take you down... Oh, about there, I'd say. That'll be about right. We'll chop that one there. Right. So then I've got... Right, well, if I want to go on a straight line... Right, if I look here, I've got a very tall tree there straight in front of us. Yeah? It's that tall tree right there in front of us. So I'm going to head towards that tall tree. Is that where we want the edge of our field? Right. And then the rock that one does sort of come up here. So if I bring that down a bit. I want the edge of the field down a little bit. And then I start going this way. So it's kind of along there. Right. We've got a little bit of a run down on the field. And then I'm going up through here. Right. The problem with the... the well, the... the we do, if I want a straight edge along here, we've got like a slight curve on the side of the hill. And if I want to follow the contour, we're going to have a curve on the edge of the field. If I'm not so worried about following the contour, and I don't mind like this corner of the field being slightly higher than the rest of the field, then we're going to have a dead straight line all the way from the boulder. And I think that is actually, I'd rather have a straight edge along this side. Right, the, not all of the field can have straight edges doesn't work like that. But this end, there's no reason that we can't have a straight edge on our field on this end. And I'd like to do that if I can. So let's cut that one there. And we'll cut... Right, where are we going to go? That's quite big, actually, cutting that into two pieces. So we'll cut that into three. And then i cut that uh, about there, I think. Like that. And then... Oh. Right, this is a really tight cluster right here. We, we are, there's like four trees right here in this cluster. We'll take these four out. And then once we've cut these through, that I think then is a better edge to our field. It's just going to, we're just going to be up ever so slightly from where we were. There. Take that one off. And it's not going to take very long to cut through these. There, and take that one out. 
Like that. And I've got that one there to cut. There. There may be, actually, is there another tree over in front? That one over there. That's another small tree. And then there's this one right behind us that we want to take down. That's a bigger tree there, the one right behind us. This one here is, again, this is just a one in half. Uh, right there. Like that. There, see? Uh, this one here is a one in half, so I can very quickly chop through that one. There. And then there's the one right behind us. That's the last tree. And that's all we've got time for in today's episode. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And what we will do... Yeah, I'll just get that one tree there. Uh, I'd like to remove the rest of those. I don't know if we will do that tomorrow. What we might do is we'll come through first and we'll pick up some of this timber that we've got. So that we can potentially well we pay off the little bit of um overdraft that we've got so we've cleared our daily debt and then we'll also go through and if we can we'll get the um not the hired help yeah the hired help sorry we'll, we'll get the the structure built for the hired help so we've got that there ready for when we start doing our mowing and stuff i'd like to be able to have hired help as an option when we come to do mowing Right, I think it's just going to be better all round for us if we've got the choice there to be able to use it for mowing and raking and, and, and jobs like that. Because they are very time-consuming jobs and they will very quickly get tedious just driving up and down the field all the time. I know that doing this here as well is, is not that great, but I think that having hired help is definitely going to be something good on the farm. Right, there's that last one done there. We've now got... That's better, actually. That's, that is going to be better. Um... As we come up to the straight edge of the field there. And we've got a pretty... We want a straight line there. There's the big tall tree that I was next to. But it's just over a little bit to there. That's the straight line that I want to follow to cut the edge of this field. So straight down through there. And then we've got this little lot right here. So that is all i got time for. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.